Welcome everybody, day 22. We're gonna start with the bundas, standing. So I like to wake up in the morning, have one to two glasses of water, do the bundas, and then I go to the toilet to try to evacuate my bowels. It's a really good way to start the day. So, warrior pose, feet can be apart, toes on an angle. Hands can rest on the thighs, a little bit lower. As always, we're trying to pull and suck that belly in without air in the body. And that will help compress and massage the organs. We're creating the base lock, the perineum lock. We're doing the lock here as we pull up and under, as well as the throat lock down. So, get comfy. Nice deep breath in. Belly out. Exhale through the mouth, keep the air out, pull the stomach back up and under. You can push the hands, drop the chin. When you need to release, that's one, we'll do two more. Coming back up, hands on the thighs, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, keep the air out, base lock, stomach pull back up and under, push the hands, drop the chin. Release. One more. Assume the position, warrior. Deep breath in. Belly expands all through the mouth. Stomach pulls back up and under. Release. You can gently sway a little bit here. You can bring the feet a little bit closer together. And even to see if you can drop down into a squat. Feet may be flat, heels may be off the floor, always be mindful of your knees. Whatever shape you're in, just to let the body open up a little bit, the hips here, maybe a little bit too early for you. It's fine if you're up a little higher, even resting on the knees. We'll come up, we're gonna do some flow. So top of the mat, feet gently apart, Tadasan. The head, like being pulled up by an invisible string. The spine elongating to the ceiling. Arms released beside the body. Close the eyes. Just be aware of how you feel in the body. And as you inhale, we'll take the arms up over the head. Breathe in to prayer. Exhale down to the floor. Two breaths here. Next breath out, the right leg goes back to a lunge, runner's lunge. Lower the knee, lift the arms up, breathe in, kneeling lunge. Squeeze the back glute, see if you can just sink a bit deeper forward. If you feel like you're too far back, release in. Hands to the floor, lift the back leg, back to plank, that left leg goes back to meet the right. Knees lower, elbows lower. Inhale to gentle up face dog, not too far. Next breath in, push back through tabletop, downward dog, pedal through the heels. Right leg lifts high. Exhale and step it through, back to lunge. Left leg to meet it, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, let the head be heavy. Inhale to roll up, other side. Arms up over the head to pray. Exhale to the floor. Two breaths. And a half breath in. Left leg back. Runner's lunge. Lower the knee, kneeling lunge, arms up by the ears. Squeeze the glutes, sinking forward. Well done. One more in, hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Knees lower, elbows lower, chest and chin. Up face dog, breathing. Holding here, a few breaths. Well done. Use that breath in, push back to downward dog. Pedal through the heels. Lift that left leg high, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, step it forward. 
runner's lunge. Right leg meets the left, inhale. Exhale, the head falls forward. Breathe in to roll up. Arms up and back to the floor. Extending the sequence, two breaths. Half breath in, right leg back, lower the knees, inhale up, kneeling lunge. Hands to prayer at the heart, turning to your left, that front elbow, right elbow rest on the knee, holding and breathing. Even looking further out to that left elbow or way behind. Breath in, hands to the floor. Step back, plank, knees lower, elbows lower. Higher up face dog this time, if you can. Squeezing the glutes, supporting the lower back. Gently lift back to downward dog, push back. Right leg this high, three-legged downward dog. Step it forward as you exhale. Inhale the left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold, head drops. Inhale to roll up. Other side, exhale down. Two breaths here. Half breath in. Left leg back. Knee lowers. Arms lift up, kneeling lunge. Exhale to sink deeper. Hands to prayer at the heart. Twist to your right, that left elbow. Drops under that front knee, turning out towards that right elbow, breathing. Relax through the shoulders and the face and jaw. Next breath out, hands drop, framing that front foot. Lift the back knee to step to plank. Knees lower, elbows lower, all the way to the floor. Inhale to up face dog. Shoulders drawing away from the ears. Inhale, tabletop, back to downward dog. Left leg lifted high. Exhale, step it forward. Runner's lunge, right leg, breathe it forward. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, roll up. And we're going a bit further, exhale to the floor. One breath in, a half breath in, right leg back. Lift up, standing lunge, push on that left leg. Bend into both knees, making sure you feel balanced. Squeeze that back glute, it can help. Explore where the hips are in space. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to plank. You can do this off the knees like a push-up or chaturanga we call it. Halfway down, hips lower, body stays up, bending back. Some people prefer off the thighs, some people prefer the feet down. Inhale, back to downward dog. Take some breath. Lift the right leg high, bend the knee, pull the heel into the glute and lift that right knee nice and higher towards the ceiling. Next breath in, pull the knee forward, step it through, exhale, left leg meets the right, exhale, forward fold, inhale, roll up to stand, other side. Exhale, forward fold. Half breath in, left foot back, coming up to high lunge. Push on that right leg, find your balance. Arms by the ears, knees can be gently bent or even deeper bent, explore where those hips are. Squeeze that left glute, that can help. Exhale, hands frame that foot, step back to plank. Chaturanga, elbows bending halfway down, hips lower, upper body lifts. A deep up face dog. Inhale, back to downward dog. 
Left leg, lift it high, three-legged downward dog. Bend the left knee, pull the heel to the glute, left knee lifts higher. Inhale the left foot forward. Lunge, right leg to meet it, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Working mirror this time, we're gonna step the right leg back. So that left leg is forward into warrior, left arm forward, right arm back. Flip the front palm, inhale that up to the ceiling, right hand to back leg. Take some breath, maybe bend that front knee more. If you need to adjust the feet, do that. Bring that left elbow to left leg, right arm by the ear. Skandasana on the right leg. So right toes turn out, push off on the left. Right knee bends as the left leg straightens, coming down to the floor. This nice deep side Cossack stretch. For those that want more intensity, left toes, maybe lift them to point to the ceiling. Be mindful of that right knee. Keep the breath moving through the nostrils. This is more intense flow. We're trying to keep that awareness in the body. Slowly crab walk to the left side. Left knee bends, right leg straightens. Any variation here is keeping the joints safe. Again, being in the body rather than any kind of stress or force or pushing the body. Being present with yourself. And that gives you a beautiful present for self. Come back to center, toes face forward, the body hangs in this forward fold. Then just walking around to that top foot, the left foot, you're gonna adjust and turn the left toes forward. The back heel will lift back into a runner's lunge. Then we'll just work a nice, simple flow. Left foot back, chaturanga, elbows bend. Hips and knees can lower upper body up. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Pedal through the heels. Left leg lifted high. Step it forward. Right leg to meet it. Forward fold. Inhale to roll up. I'm just switching sides just so we can do mirror. This time we're gonna step the left foot back. Right stays forward. Warrior, right knee bends, right arm forward, left arm back. Flip the front palm, exalt the warrior. Right arm to the ceiling, left hand to the back leg. Take some breath. Right arm to right thigh, left arm by the ear. Side angle. Again, dasana on the left leg. So let the toes turn, left toes turn out, bend into that left knee, hands in front of that foot. Right leg straightens. If you wanna go deeper, some people will have that left heel even off the floor. Be mindful of your knees. Be in the body, the sensations. Awareness to your thoughts, emotions, whatever rises within that field of awareness at the same time that you're feeling and sensing in the body. Nothing to do, just observe. Gently crab walk to the right leg, right knee bends. Maybe you're adjusting into a deeper variation. Come back to center, roll up through center, clasp your hands behind the back, squeeze the arms down and away, chest lifts, Forward fold, knees can soften. Those arms are squeezing back and over the head. Even move and shift the body over to the left leg. Notice how that feels. And then over to the right. Arms release down. Then you're just crawling into a lunge on the right leg. So right toes flip at the end of the mat. Left heel lifts up, chaturanga. A nice little gentle flow, all the way down, elbows bend. 
legs and hips can touch the pelvis as you inhale up to up face dog. Push back to downward dog. Right leg lifts high. Step it forward. Left leg to meet it. Forward fold. Roll up to stand, stay standing. Hands to prayer to the heart. Just close the eyes, beware of how you feel. Face and teeth and jaw are softening. Even do some helicopter swings just to loosen any tension there through the spine, the arms. Come down to the floor, just work some twisting on the ground, supine twist. So we'll bring the right ankle over the left knee. You can slide it all the way down if you want. Arms can be out, that nice T-shaped formation or, or the cactus arms and lower the legs to the right. So just let the knees fall out. So you feel that nice twist, supine twist, adjust the knees if you feel. If you want to do any resistance or pushing that right leg deeper down to get the left knee closer to the floor and even turning the head away from where the knees are directed. Slide that leg off, come back up, left leg over right, same thing, other way. So we're dropping out to the left, that left leg will pull the right knee closer to the floor. Maybe you're adjusting, maybe you're using that left hand to push even deeper. Breathing, looking away from where the knees are pointing. And slide that left leg off, come back up. Just adjust, push on the feet to lift the hips. Just a nice little wedge. Glutes are on, arms and palms can push into the floor, breathe into the belly. Expand it, let it soften. Gently roll down. Right ankle is going to cross over the left. We're doing the figure four shape, variation of the Piriformis stretch, the pigeon or the swan. Hands are coming in to hold the back of that left leg to pull the leg in. Maybe you're holding the front of the left knee. As you do, breathing, feeling that stretch into this outer right hip. If you want to gently rock a little bit side to side, I enjoy doing that. Lower that left leg, unhook the right ankle, other side, left ankle over right. Pulling that knee gently in, feeling that stretch now through the left outer glute, the external rotators, and either being stationary or maybe rocking side to side. Explore. Lower the legs. Now we're going to just do a gentle elevation, feet up in the air. If you've got a wall, your feet can be against the wall. If you've got a block or a bolster, you can put that underneath the hips. For those that want to do a shoulder stand variation, arms and palms push down. You're kicking the feet gently up over the head. The tail is going to lift. You bend the elbows and just hold on like a little hinge joint. Just holding on to the tail, the glutes. Legs may be diagonal, maybe you're getting them higher. Just be mindful of your neck. Breathing in this position. Awareness to your body, to the breathing. 
awareness to anything that arises. Sensations, thoughts, emotions, memories. Just let it be there without trying to change or resist. Awareness to whatever moves into your room of awareness, room of attention. Lower the knees gently if you're up high, rolling back along the floor, even rolling to sit up. Do our fish component, nice counter position. Coming onto forearms, elbows. Chest lifts to create a nice little arch in the back. You're letting the head gently drape back. Squeeze the shoulders back as well to support the head and neck. Keep it back. If you feel you need to come out of it, just take the elbows wide, lower down, nice and slow. And then when you're ready, lower all the way down. Let the body gently ease. Once the body's flat, turning the head left to right on the floor. Grab hold of the knees. We're going to rock up just to work a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. Either in a chair, on the floor, if you've got a bolster or block underneath. Bring whichever hand feels right to the nose. Close the right nostril. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Continue on your own speed. One more each side. We'll meet you breathing out through the left nostril. When you reach there, hand releases, releasing the technique, awareness to the breath. And gently laying down, Shavasana. Finding your way, feet flopping to the side, the hips, the glutes are soft, the spine extended, palms can be face up and out, shoulders even squeezing the blades, head lengthening, the face, the teeth and jaw are softening. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Letting go, giving in, allow yourself to be still, more and more, and more and more.
And just gently becoming aware of your body in the space on the floor again. Deep in the breath. Fingers and toes are wriggling. You can stretch the arms above your head, lengthening fingertip to toe. And roll to one or both sides, just resting in that recovery or arching both sides of the body. And then gently make your way back up, pushing up nice and slowly on the side. Nice deep breath in to close the practice. Inhale the arms up over the head. Back to the heart. Bow the head in respect for self and each other. Notice what you notice without judgment. Deep breath in and out. And inhale for an om. Oh. Vibration, channeling it at the eyebrow center, pressing the back of the thumbs there. Clear thoughts, clear speech at the lips. That love for self, each other, and the teachings as we bow forward, the hands at the heart. Have an awesome day, everybody.